Yo, yo, what up, what up, YouTube? Motive 303 here. Time, finally, for another fucking harvest video. <laughs> Sorry, guys, again, that I've kind of been away from YouTube. I just have not had the time to do these videos lately, and I know I keep saying that. Uh, trying to make more time and, uh, you know, be able to be a little more active on YouTube with you guys and uh, you know we'll kinda see how it goes I'm doing the best I can but it's just been really 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 busy lately so just kinda popping in when I can and uh, give you guys a peek at what's going on uh, it is harvest day here in Motive Land uh, what you're looking at right now is two of three Evil Knievel OG's by uh, Alien Genetics uh, the Evil Knievel OG is High Octane OG crossed to the Tahoe Alien. Uh, as the last strains I finished were also crossed to that same Tahoe Alien male. Uh, again, the Tahoe Alien is the true clone only Tahoe OG crossed to the Alien Kush. Alien Kush, once again, being a Las Vegas Purple Kush and Alien Technology. So, kind of give you guys a peek at these, then I have a couple shout outs and thanks I want to do here at the end. Um, both of these girls look like they leaned more on the mother side of the cross. They are very OG-like in structure. Uh, yield is not going to be huge, but these nugs are mad frosty if I can get the camera to focus. And the smell is absolutely amazing. There's a very strong candy-like smell, uh, as well as, you know, straight OG Kush, lemon, pine, uh, fuel. Uh, and there's kind of like a hint of cream sort of in it. It's kind of how it smells to me, kind of a creamy background. Uh, one of these plants has already been taken down and it is hanging up right now. I'm not going to be showing you fully trimmed buds of these until after they are dry as I'm not doing a full fresh manicure on these this time. I'm going to go ahead and pull all of these fan leaves and the bigger uh, water leaves and whatnot that I can and then hang them up and do a dry manicure on them later. Uh, I have found that buds, ex buds, especially OG types like this, really come out better looking when they're trimmed that way and uh, we're going to go ahead and give it a try. I do do that from time to time. Um, usually, you know, you guys have seen me, I do fresh manicure. That way I can have that fresh trim frozen to make hash with. Uh, but as you can see, even these plants, when I pull these water leaves off and the fan leaves, there is plenty of frost on them, so I'll still get plenty to make hash with. Looks like I'm running out a little bit of time here on my memory card, or on my battery, excuse me, so I'm going to have to cut this segment of this a little bit short here in a minute, and then continue on with the second part. But uh, just wanted to give you guys a peek before I took them down. Again, huge shout out and thanks to Alien. Dude, you just keep killing it, man. You make some of the craziest strains. Uh, and I'm extremely, extremely happy to be growing them out. And to all the YouTube people, you will be seeing a lot more of these out of me. Um, everyone I have right now, for the most part, is crossed to the same Tahoe Alien father. But there are some coming up that are not. Uh, but that genetic is still in every one of them. So again, Evil Knievel OG by Alien Genetics. They are well flushed. Uh, these were done in soil, a 50-50 mix of Fox Farm Ocean Forest and uh, shit, uh, 707 from Roots Organic. Sorry about that, guys. But anyways. That's those girls. Here's a quick peek at a couple of buds from the one I trimmed up, or pulled at least, last night. Let's see if we can kind of get a peek at them. So this is what they will look like as they're hanging. Um, you can see this plant also was very nice and frosty. Just covered in trikes. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good harvest. I got these coming down as well as two Galactic Tahoes. And I will show you those as well when I get to cutting them, which will be next weekend. So, uh, give me a minute here to charge up the battery and I'll be back with part two. Thanks a lot, everybody. Wrap to you soon. Motive out. What up, y'all? I'm back. Uh, motive here again, obviously. Uh, while the battery was charging, I went ahead and plucked 
all the fan leaves, or all the big fan leaves, and everything that's going to come off before I hang these to dry. Uh, I'll probably snatch off a couple of those larger ones right there. But this will allow you to get kind of a closer shot at the flowers themselves so you can see the structure of uh, this particular strain. Uh, again, this is the Evil Knievel OG by Alien Genetics, in case you fast forwarded through the beginning of the video or anything. Um, man, I gotta tell you, fucking house smells amazing right now. I am uh, really, really stoked to get this strain and the Galactic Tahoe harvested, uh, tested, tried out, <clears throat> all of that. Uh, I tell you what, man, with Alien strains, it's really fucking hard to pick which cuts or which phenos you're going to keep because pretty much every single one is a potential keeper uh, some of them definitely stand out you know it's more likely to be in the yield department will be what determines a keeper rather than crystal production flavor potency because man I'm, I'm shit you not they just they rock in every other way so Alien definitely has some amazing genetics to breed with, so if you do get a chance, try to snag some of them up and give them a try. Or you can just watch vicariously through me or anybody else out there growing them. So, yep, there you go, guys. Those are the number four and number five Evil Knievel OGs. The number one is already plucked and hanging. Uh, those numbers came from the amount of seeds I started in the first place. Uh, the missing numbers in between are all males. Uh, so these are the females. <clears throat> so before I close out this video, I want to go ahead and give some shout outs and some thanks to some of the homies who have uh, hooked me up recently, as well as one that I hope in the future will be uh, you know, someone I get to chat with more and try out some of their creations. So what we have here obviously are seeds. Uh, first up we have Alien himself. Uh, and you know man, I've shouted you out so many times and you know when we talk I always thank you just tons for what you've done for me man and I highly highly appreciate it and I thank you very much. This is the most recent group of strains I've gotten from Alien. Uh, right there is the Alien Sledgehammer, Sledgehammer Bubba times Tahoe Alien. Uh, Sledgehammer Bubba is a pre-98 Bubba Kush to the Alien Kush F1. And then, of course, the Tahoe Alien. Sour Lemon Alien Dog, which is a femme, as you see there, uh, is Alien's Lemon Alien Dog. Crossed to uh, the Alien Diesel, which is uh, an amazing sour diesel cut. Uh, crossed to the... Nah, actually, crossed to the Alien Kush F1, I believe, as well. Uh, but it was then feminized. Sorry guys, my memory's a little shitty this morning. Uh, this strain has been recently named Sour Pebbles. This is the Fruity Pebble OG crossed to that same Alien Diesel, uh, which was reversed uh, as there was not a male kept, uh, and that's how they were pollinated and made feminized. And then one of my favorites, a few more of the Fruity Pebble OG beans. Uh, you'll notice on all of Aliens beans, man, they're all just super fat, healthy, ripe, and uh, the germ rates are amazing on them. Uh, they just, uh, they honestly kick ass, I can't say enough. <clears throat> Next to that is the big dog strain Starfighter, which is Aliens Lemon Alien Dog crossed to the Tahoe Alien. Uh, I've shown this before, but I'm not sure I gave a shout out to my homie D for uh, making it possible for me to have these in my possession. Dude, my brother, I owe you tons. Thank you so, so very much for that. Uh, for those of you that don't know, this particular strain here uh, sold for four to six thousand uh, dollars at auction. So, quite hard to obtain, uh, but it managed to find its way via uh, an amazing friend of mine here to Motiveland. Next, we're gonna go to the homie Big Cheese. What up, brother? Uh, Cheese made these himself at home. Uh, those are some purple Urkel beans. You know, I'm not ex exactly sure where those came from, whether he just feminized that out or, uh, you know, honestly, I didn't even ask him about them. But a uh, nice set of purple Urkel seeds there. Next one he did make. This is Kenny Sowers. Uh, Kenny Sowers is Ken's Kush, which is GDP 
cross to OG and Sour Diesel. I'm not sure exactly how that cross was built. Uh, and then that Ken's Kush crossed to the Sour OG from Cali Connection, I guess. So, uh, and you can see she's hooked it the fuck up. <laughs> so thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. It's going to take me a while to get through all those fuckers. Uh, over here, what up, Exotic? Exotic Genetics hooked it up hugely as well. And I thank you very, very much for this, brother. I'm not sure if you're even going to see this. I don't know if you are a YouTube viewer or not. Uh, I know I've thanked you already, but I'm going to thank you again right now. Predator Pink is the plush berry cross to Starfighter. That shit should be absolutely fucking ridiculous. Um, I'm not, I don't think I've seen anybody grow it out yet, but I'm sure it's well on its way in a few gardens. And I really look forward to uh, growing that one. Next one is J-Dog, which is Jazzberry Jam cross to the Alien Dog V2. Um, just, yeah, and another amazing cross. I really can't wait to pop those either, guys. Uh, one of these days, Exotic will probably have, uh, you know, genetics out there for sale. I don't know his plans on that yet, but uh, we will see. One last thing, man. Huge props uh, on your win at the Cup for second place. Uh, that's amazing work, dude. I was really stoked to see that you got that done. And uh, huge props and respect for that, bro. We'll talk to you later. Next is Higher Solutions. What up as well to you, man, and thank you very, very much for the kickdown. Uh, I was only expecting one of these strains, and obviously HS hooked it up in a huge way. So what we have over here is the Urkin Perp, so Purple Urkel, cross to the Kenestis Granddaddy Perp, which I imagine that's going to be one beautiful plant and should pack some heat as well for a purple, I imagine. Uh, next is Ultimate Fighter. Purple Urkel, cross to Starfighter again. Uh, another one that I just, I can't wait to pop. I'm in the middle of a move, or will be moving here soon, so I will have more room. Uh, so you guys will see some of these strains coming up soon. Space Jam, that's uh, Kyle Cushman Strawberry Cough, cross to Starfighter. Uh, I've been wanting to grow a Strawberry Cough strain for quite a while. Uh, I do have the white strawberry cough from Rascal, but I imagine this one is going to be germed out first. Uh, huge thanks to you, Higher Solutions. Uh, you are the man, bro. I hope all is well up there uh, where you're at, man. Keep doing what you do and uh, stay safe, man. Last but not least, uh, these were not kicked down. I did buy these. Uh, these are seeds from Newhouse Genetics or Newhouse Seeds here in Colorado. Uh, the owner breeder of this company is Tierra Rojo, uh, who I did have the pleasure of meeting twice recently, and you know hopefully we'll have the chance of doing in the future. Uh, you can see he's making some great crosses here: Legend of '91, Chem Dog '91 to the Legend OG cross to Killer Chem. That should be just absolutely insane. That one's going to be coming up here very soon, I hope. Uh, the block, Chrome's blockhead times Tang Tang. Uh, many people here in Colorado are probably very familiar with Tang Tang. Um, and Blockhead uh, is a very well-known strain. So that one right there should be absolute fire as well. Sorry for the shakiness, guys. I'm standing in kind of awkward position. Uh, Red-Headed Stranger. This one, I think first place in the Sativa uh, at the Cup here. So congratulations to you, TR. Uh, for that win. I'm not sure if I got to say that to you in person, uh, but that's one I'm really looking forward to as well. Last but not least, Armagnac. Chrome's the white times Grape Crush F2. That should be an amazing strain as well. Uh, I do have another strain made from Grape Crush, and uh, it's a very solid yielder for a purple strain. Uh, it's super dense bud, super crystally, so cross to the white. That ought to be just absolutely off the hook. So, huge thanks to all you guys. Uh, I hope to continue rapping with you guys and hopefully meet everybody face to face that I have not at this time uh, one of these days. So, other than that, y'all, like I said, I'll try to get more uh, videos going for everybody. I appreciate all of you that have requested for me to get some up, and I am sorry for the delay. Uh, I also appreciate every one of you out there for your comments, uh, your messages to me uh, in private. And I am still trying to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I'm just not on as much anymore. 
uh, but I am trying to uh, make that change a little bit. So uh, until next time, guys, feel free to hit me up if you want to, say hello, and uh, one more time, Evil Knievel OG, get in the chop. We'll wrap to everybody later. Be safe, be well, motive out. In uh, traditional motive style, there is an addendum to this video, y'all. Uh, one more time, guys, I'll just say I'm sorry for kind of the hums and hums and whatnot as I make this video. I'm really fucking out of practice. And that's a little early in the day. So the honey browns aren't quite rolling as thick right now, but they are rolling. Uh, so once again, this video will be posted. No edits, no nada. Just pure motive in my house, doing my thing, just trying to rap with you guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, if you have comments about the hums and hums and whatnot in my stutters, you know what, save them, because I really don't care. Uh, this is just me doing my thing, talking to uh, you guys. So I hope everyone's having a great Saturday. Uh, to KB Grow Kid and Parzito101. Uh, hope to see both of you guys tonight, man, if you can make it. If not, no sweat. We'll figure it out another time. Uh, but big ups to you guys for uh, being around. KB, keep fucking killing it, bro. You always do an amazing job in your grows, man. And uh, I just can't wait to see what's up with you next, bro. Par's been a long time since I've seen you, man. So if uh, you're able to swing through, go ahead and do it, homie. All right, y'all. That's it. Mode about. Be well. Later.